Emily, let's start with a quick reminder of where we left off last week. Well, I talked about how spacecraft cameras are usually black and white cameras. They shoot only black and white images, and to get color information, they have to put different color filters in front of the camera. The same is true of Cassini as it was of the Mars Exploration Rovers. This is also a black and white image of Dione and Titan. And you can take lots of images in a row, just like with the rovers, to make color pictures, but there is a problem, and that's that everything in the Saturn system is moving all the time. Cassini is moving, the moons are moving, Saturn is spinning, the rings are spinning, everything moves, and so as you go from filter to filter, you get a lot of motion from one frame to the next. So when you try to combine three images taken through red, green, and blue filters into a color photo, you get junk. <laughs> that looks terrible. Okay. There's lots of color fringes. There's, there's weird red stripes and yellow stripes. I can make it slightly better by lining it up on Dione, and you can see there's no more color stripes on Dione, but Titan still looks terrible. I can try to line up Titan, but Dione looks like a traffic light. It just looks wrong, okay? So here's where we go from science to art. I cannot make this image look good without manipulating the data somewhat. And of course, what I do is I take my pretty picture of Dione, I cut it out, and I paste it on top of my pretty picture of Titan. It's still not perfect, though. There's still some weird shadow color images of Dione, and that's where I get out my paintbrush. I paint in the background, and there you have it. That is a picture of Titan and Dione from Cassini. <laughs> And if you would like to ooh and ah along with our studio audience who are getting to see all these beautiful images, just go to planetary.org slash blog, and that's where Emily can be found with this and lots of other great information about what's happening around our solar system. Thank you so much, Emily. Thank you for having me, Matt. Emily Lakdawalla is the Science and Technology Coordinator for the Planetary Society and the editor of its very popular blog.